What's up guys, welcome to another Draft League video. This time it's a little bit different because I'm actually showing you a brand new team that I did with some of the transactions I was able to do. Thus hopefully making our team a little bit more viable and kind of fix the mistakes that I've done in my past two battles. So as you can see in the team, what I've done is I've gotten rid of Tyrantrum, Glalie and the Electros. So Tyrantrum was a very, very tough Pokemon to lose. As you guys know, it was the MVP in my first week, um, but I think it was probably the smarter idea because a glaring weakness of my team was I have so many slow Pokemon. Without the rain, Swamp is very slow, um, and I needed something with a little bit more speed. So Glalie, I didn't really get to use at all, um, Never, nor did I actually find a time to use it. And the Electros, every week kind of let me down. For a Pokemon that has no weakness, it is super frail, it could never take a hit, so I thought it was just best that I get rid of it. So in turn, the three Pokemon I've added is Azelf, Stunfisk, as I eat my hair, and Hitmonchan. So Azelf being um, its stats, its attack and special attack are the exact same well, in terms of base stats, meaning I can make it either a physical sweeper, a special sweeper, and it's the much needed speed I need on the team. It is extremely fast, it is extremely valuable, as well as it can learn Trick Room, so if it's going to be taken down, at least I can get Trick Room up, therefore my other Pokemon can come in and hopefully outspeed my opponent. Next up is Stunfist. Stunfist is a little bit of a weird one, but with its ground electric typing, it means I don't have to rely on Swampert all the time. It means if there's a Pokemon that I'm kind of um, a little bit scared of, I can actually use the Stunfist instead of Swampert, leaving Swampert for more of the bigger threats. You know, like your Garchomps, your Legendaries, things like that. And Stunfist can come in, do a, either do a little bit of damage or take out the Pokemon. So I'm excited to use Dunfist, see how it goes. It's ground electric typing is going to be very useful. Um, as well as, I might actually make it even a static mod. Therefore, if I get hit with a physical attack, I have the chance for that power. Um, the final team member, which I'm really excited to use, is Hitmonchan. Mr. Boxer Man himself. So the idea with him is probably to use Iron Fist and then give him the punches. You know, having the ability to do Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, um, and Mock Punch gives him a very vast utility in terms of what he can do. Rabbit Spin as well, so any hazards I no longer have to worry about. Upping my speed, allowing me to hit harder, hit faster. And overall, I think he will be a great addition to the team. Um, especially because I know Dragon types could be very scary. Just now I've lost my Ice type. But now I have a Pokemon that can learn Ice Punch. Uh, Swampy can also learn Ice Punch. So very much we could... We, this team should hopefully counteract what weaknesses I was having which was mainly speed so though Sunfish is very slow you know him on uh, him on Chan is still like 76 speed it's still somewhat faster than a lot of my Pokemon um, and as of being 115 uh, sorry yeah 115 speed it is it is going to be my fastest and probably most valuable Pokemon you'll probably see in a lot of the weeks um, that I first my opponents but I just want to give this little team uh, recap this little team update um, the battle should be coming back either next week or the week after which is going to be very exciting or maybe even after the christmas break but for now have a lovely lovely rest of your days everyone and i shall see you guys next time bye